hey you guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to be doing a video on what and in today's video we are going to be doing an important message from the universe to give to you so this is basically what do you need to know now in this very moment this is actually a timeless reading, so you could listen to this video six months from now and it should still resonate with you. Also, another disclaimer, um, if you're new here, my daughter is sleeping in the background and this is the only time I have time to film and she snores. <laughs> so I try to poop her out before I film. Um, she's snoring right now. Also, um, I do have quarantine nails. I think the nail salon opens up like next week. So please bear with me. <laughs> they are looking kind of crazy right now. All right, so let's get into the video. So um, the first group is the Amazonite Crystal um, Blue Heart. And then for this group, group number two is focused on the good and group number three is the rose quartz crystal okay you guys all right so before we get into choosing our pick a card or our deck we are first going to breathe in and breathe out and we're going to say what do i need to know universe breathe in Breathe out. What's coming my way, universe? Breathe in. Breathe out. What should I watch out for, universe? Breathe in. Breathe out. And what energies are supporting me? Breathe in. Breathe out. If you need to pause this video, please pause this video. Also, get a drink drink of water tea coffee whatever you would like um while watching this video i've got me some water on the side i know it's aquafina i probably need some fiji water but you know we're going through this quarantine and the fiji water was out too so i got what i could get and um we're gonna go and get ready for group one all right, love bugs. If you guys chose the Amazonite crystal, then you may be in love, or you chose it because it was a heart, or because it's your favorite color. But we're gonna lay the cards down, and we're gonna see what you got going on, and what the universe is trying to tell you. Okay. All right. So we've got Temperance. Um, I think this gets started. All right, we've got the Six of Pentacles in reverse. We've got the Queen of Wands upright. We've got the Seven of Wands upright. We've got the Two of Pentacles upright. The High Priestess in reverse. I think I can fit one more card right there. All right, we've got the Two of Wands. All right, and we've got the page, y'all can see that, the page of pentacles, upright. Then we've got a message card, it says, fall in love when you are ready, not when you are lonely, okay? And just because we're in quarantine doesn't mean just be falling in love with anybody just because you're lonely. Sorry about that motorcycle in the background. <laughs> All right, so you've got the waxing moon energy. The energy is gaining momentum, okay? All right, we've got the first quarter moon. Your commitment is being tested. Ooh, didn't see that back there. And confidence is your key to success, the new moon in Leo, okay? You've got a house card, the fourth house, your home and the roots of your being, okay? I'll just lay this here and then we've got the second house your assets finances and the things that you value and we got another house card the first house what people see in the impression you give okay all right okay period okay so 
basically what i'm seeing right now with the universe is trying to tell you right now is okay you've got the first house you may be thinking about um how people see you or you may be doing some things in the public you also have about your finances in your home so it's a perfect thing um right now you may be mainly thinking about yourself um your family your home and your income so right here um you know temperance that card is about balance flow and harmony things coming together in your life but you also have the six of pentacles in reverse and it's time for you to show gratitude for what you have allow no one to manipulate you and that may explain you know your first house um card you know what people see and the impression you give you may be thinking very hard and being very critical on yourself about how people perceive you um and you know i heard um from bishop td jakes on one of his motivational i apologize you guys um my alarm keeps going off on my phone and that is what i record with i apologize but what I was trying to tell you was um, the motivational speech that I listened to. Um, this is my year of motivation on YouTube. I'll link it down below. Um, it does say it's not about what people perceive of me. It's what I perceive of me. And I'm getting the energy that you need to know that. It's not what other people think about you. It's about what you think about you. Okay? It's like when you look in the mirror, you should know you're a beautiful woman or you're a handsome man and you should know that you are perfect just the way you are nobody else can be you better than you okay so the universe is giving me strong energy to let you know that also i want to let you know that with the six of pentacles in reverse you know take time to sit back and say you know i am thankful for who i am i am thankful for my assets and my finances and the things that I value. I am thankful for my home and my family and the people that love me. It's time for you to sit down and show gratitude, okay? All right, so you've got the Queen of Wands upright, okay? And you're an ambitious leader, entrepreneur. So, you know, if you do have a business and you chose this card, um, continue to be that very inspiring person. Be down to earth. You know, that energy is very contagious and, you know, people are very happy. The people in your life is very happy to have you in their lives. You know what I'm saying? They may not say it as much, but they're always calling you, needing your advice. They always need you and you're a very important person in their lives, okay? So keep doing you. Don't continue to put yourself down because you do have people who are looking up to you maybe your children it may be your friends it may be your family it may be co-workers you know what i'm saying and i know i have some co-workers that do look up to me as well um they may not say it every day but they have expressed their gratitude to me and i really do appreciate them and um you want to continue to be that ambitious leader and if you do have a business continue to be that motivational um inspiring entrepreneur on all your social media platforms and you guys the way i have the tripod is kind of awkward for me to move my arm right there so i'm just gonna use my left hand all right so here you have the seven of wands okay um the universe is saying fight for what you believe in do not give up be assertive you know so that's leo energy fire sign energy okay so you need all that you need to keep that fighting you keep that fighting you to be an ambitious leader a very inspiring person be down to earth you know that energy is contagious i mean that's coming from queen of wands but you know you do have the seven of wands backing you up saying hey you know he has six wands up against him and he has one wand and he's fighting whether he's outnumbered and that's what it's all about and to back that up even more you've got the two of pentacles okay balancing with your finances and balancing 
two different lives so it can be your love life and your um work life you're trying to balance you may work a lot and you're trying to balance the relationship but remember um to not put yourself down if you are trying to balance your relationship and working a lot and also you know it's talking about balancing finances you know pentacles talk a lot about finances and the second house your assets finances and things you value honey you are good like don't worry about that your finances are fine okay the universe also wants to tell you about the high priestess in reverse okay so right now you may be keeping a secret you know what i'm saying you may be holding a secret for someone else um and keeping it to yourself you may be pregnant um or the secret may be about you launching your business like we talked about with the queen of wands you being an entrepreneur and being very inspiring you may be doing something behind the scenes hey we're quarantined you know what i'm saying it's the perfect time to be creative and launch your business and focus on your business do all the research because everybody's on the internet right now everybody is bored everybody's on youtube so it's a great time to start your youtube channel to launch your website to launch your instagram facebook group or whatever you want to your patreon go ahead and get that started and stay focused on that um and you know having that as a secret isn't so bad but make sure you try to see what your audience wants as well all right so for the two of wands we've got right here okay um and that just means success, achievement. You know, you're looking for bigger accomplishments now. So you may have just lost, launched your Instagram and your YouTube channel at the same time. And you're like, you know what? I'm ready to launch that website. I, I need something bigger. I need more. You know what I'm saying? It's the perfect time to do that. And the universe is saying, take action. Take action during quarantine. Okay? All right. So... Um, after that, we have the Page of Pentacles, okay? And that's start of a new skill and being inspired by a new task. So, these two connect very strongly, okay? So, you've been successful with your knowledge and the research that you've done for your business or your new project that you're working on or it could just be spiritual growth or any type of growth for yourself and you've grown from that okay and i know it says the energy is gaining momentum right here so you the, the universe is saying you have the potential you need to go ahead and get this business off the ground you're sitting at home already you might as well pull that laptop out ipad iPhone, iPod, whatever you have that has access to the internet and get that thing done because two of um you have the two of wands here and the page of pentacles, okay? And the universe is strongly telling you that this new task, this new project that you're doing is gonna be successful. And you know the page of pentacles is the start of something new or starting a new skill or a new journey and baby i am telling you the universe is already letting you know the energy is gaining momentum are you really committed to what you want to do it's going to be tested are you really committed confidence is your key to success be beautiful be handsome get it done oh i just love this energy okay amazonite crystal listen my what i'm getting from this whole whole um reading from the universe is go hard or go home and you already at home so you might as well go hard you're gonna be at home for a little while so you might as well go hard on your business go hard for yourself do it for your house do it for your finances do it for you do it for the people that love you and that are inspired by you get it done and I'm, I'm just so motivated to tell you to get it done because I feel like this deck was for me. This is the deck I chose and I need to go harder. I need to go harder this week. This is what the universe is telling me. And, you know, you may be a Leo. You know what I'm saying? 
first house you may be aries okay second house you may be taurus fourth house you may be a cancer get it done and i'm gonna just leave it at that i'm a capricorn and i have capricorn energy so when i do speak it may sound a little harsh because i do have that fatherly energy but i am also a mother and i'm telling you to get out there and kick butt because this is the perfect time people are all on their computers on their phones all day launch your business baby all right i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a like if this video did resonate with you please leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell and don't forget to follow me on my instagram page at coco's cosmology and i'll see you guys in my next one bye all right welcome group number two all right we have focus on the good crystal right here I'm gonna lay the cards out for you and we're gonna get deep into this reading from the universe all right we have the Emperor in reverse okay you can see that all right we have the nine of Pentacles in reverse we have the lovers card in reverse we have the seven of swords we have the strength card we have the tower card we have the world card i think i could get one more right there okay we got the seven of swords again we had that in the first group if you chose the first group as well we have the three of pentacles okay and we have a message card life is a great big canvas show hold up throw all the paint on it you can okay bet. all right all right so we have the new moon in cancer you and your loved ones are safe okay this is a great um, message to you guys especially while we're going through this quarantine okay meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces okay and we also have the gibbous moon you are very close to achieving your goal okay the universe is letting you guys know this right off the gate okay you've got Capricorn energy okay Ooh, and I'm a Capricorn okay you know, you might be binge watching my videos or you might have a Capricorn in your life or you may be a Capricorn, okay? The energy around you is serious, materialistic, and hardworking. It bestows shrewdness and cautious ambition, okay? We have another zodiac sign, Sagittarius. This energy imbues power, superior confidence, and enthusiasm with faith, good fortune, and authority. Okay? The house cards. Okay? We have the 11th house. Okay? The 11th house is ruled by Aquarius. Okay? That's the 11th zodiac sign where the cosmos grants wishes looks friends and social occasions so you may be a capricorn sagittarius or you may be an aquarius and that just goes right in order no sagittarius capricorn aquarius okay i'm sorry <laughs> all right so let's get into what the universe is trying to tell you so right off the gate um what we saw from these cards, you and your loved ones are safe, so you may be panicking about what's going on. I totally understand. Please disregard my daughter snoring. I'm just letting her get her beauty sleep. <laughs> um, meditate and contemplate, okay? You're very close to achieving your goals. So, you it looks like you just needed some clarification, okay? Some clarification on some things all right so with the emperor being in reverse okay um you may be very indecisive and that explains why you know it's showing that you and your loved ones are safe you may feel unsafe with everything that's going on right now and like i said i totally understand um it can be very you know scary um the unknown can be very scary but 
um let's think about the universe and being spiritually aligned you know we really do we really can meditate and we can really focus on the good things so we can get great outcomes okay because you and your loved ones are safe and that's what matters it you know we're going to meditate um for the world to heal okay so um with the emperor being re in reverse um it's the universe is letting you know hey um, you need to pay attention to something, you know, um, if you don't pay attention to something, you can end up self-sabotaging yourself and you don't want to, um, do that at all, um, with everything that's going on. So, um, uh, with this Capricorn energy, it's time for you to be very serious, okay? Um, Capricorns are very serious, very hardworking, you know what I'm saying? And Sagittarius, they're already, they're always being very enthusiastic and trying to, start something new so tap into that capricorn and sagittarius energy okay all right so we have the nine of pentacles in reverse you know and it's time for you to start the universe wants you to start filling your life with love and meaningful relationships you know because you may find yourself feeling lonely or worried working too hard but never enjoying yourself you know enjoy your life enjoy the people around you you really need to um do that during this time especially if you're at home you know and you do have kids try to find activities for them to do um i went to the dollar tree for my daughter and got her some things from dollar tree uh, for her to color you know work on her alphabets and stuff and numbers so it's a great time to bond with your kids and also bond with yourself. You know, take a spiritual bath or just a regular book bath and, and or in some Epsom salt. Ooh, honey. Who and be relaxed. You know what I'm saying? But also, after you relax and do your meditation and stuff, get back focused because you don't want to self-sabotage yourself. Now, as we talked about, with the Nine of Pentacles being in reverse, you may be feeling lonely and you do have the Lover's card in reverse, okay? You may be tempted by other people's influences. You may be confused. Someone may have disrespected you. So watch out for energies like that. I think my daughter's waking up. Hold on. <laughs> okay, I apologize about that. Okay, moving forward. Uh, we have the Seven of Swords, you know? Um... You may, with everything that's going on, someone may be lying to you, stealing, being sneaky um, to you, or, or it could mean you're trying to seek creativity within yourself or you're trying to find yourself during this time. Because, I mean, I know being quarantined, you're in the house and you're bored and it's like really hard trying to find something to do. So try to find ways to do fun things mm, let me see also you do have the strength card here and that just means you're tough you know what i'm saying and you're gaining strength you're gaining courage and you know you're gaining respect from other people so this message so far that i'm getting from the universe is you may not believe in yourself and you know it may cause you to be distracted and self-sabotage yourself or you may be single or you may be in a relationship where you do feel like you're single or you may be in a situation where someone is in a relationship with someone else but you're catching feelings from them and it's making you feel lonely um during this quarantine just being real you guys um one of the three may be you and um it's causing you to lie or the person may be lying to you stealing from you you know being very persuasive trying to get things from you and you're falling for it but eventually you will get the courage and you'll get the strength to be able to get this person to respect you and you just might leave because you have the tower card right after that and that's when mother nature is like okay we're done here you know 
all of that is done we're not taking that or your birthday may be coming up you may be in aries um this is filmed during aries season so um you may be finishing school graduating from school soon and you know that's something that you should be focusing on right now not no man not no woman or being lonely focus on your goals All right, you guys, my daughter is up and I can't put my hand up anymore. Well, I'm gonna try to. Um, okay, so we talked about the tower card, okay? So now we're gonna talk about the world card and it's right here. Um, let me see if I can find something to point with. Okay, I got a pin. All right, so we've got the world card right here, you guys. And, um, whew, let me see. Um, you know, that could mean, uh, my daughter trying to fall back asleep right here. I'm so sorry. Okay. So we talked about the tower card, you know, um, how that's mother nature purging people out of your life that is not needed. You have the world card that could mean, you know, successful, um, completion with um the tower you know what i'm saying and when the tower card comes up it's not purging anything out of your life that you do need it's purging things out of your life that you don't need and that is blocking you from being successful so let the universe mother earth do her thing okay um and that's beautiful because you gain the strength you gain this courage you got the respect that you wanted and that person is no longer here anymore. And not as in passed away, but no longer here as to be a burden or be in the way of your success or of you prospering. And this is going to, you know, this is like also a cause for celebration too, but it's the completed milestone and, you know, being successful. We also have the seven of wands here like we had in the group one and you know that's that assertive energy that's you standing up for yourself you believing in yourself you building the courage you know no matter who or what you're up against you're fighting and you have the three of pentacles here okay and that's upright you collaborating with other people um you may be an entrepreneur as well and you may be growing your business bigger so i'm getting the vibes that the universe is telling you that you need to be serious and hard working okay um you need to bestow that cap energy and you need to keep that Sagittarius fire energy going on so you can be mm, 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 getting things done okay and you may go through some things um, during this time and you need to learn how to get through this part so you can be your best self so you may be going through a little rough patch in the beginning um, and the universe is letting you know it's okay because um when it rains it pours but that rainbow is still gonna come out and like i said life is a great big canvas throw all the paint on it you can so all your trials and tribulations throw it to the canvas charge it to the game because that's what's going to make you a stronger person that's what's going to give you strength remember Despite the decisions that you make to better yourself, you and your loved ones are safe, okay? You need to meditate to get through this hard time so you can be successful. And even when you are successful, continue to meditate. And you are very close to achieving your goals. So whoever this person is or whatever it is blocking you, it don't even matter if it's your job, okay? <laughs> you are very close to achieving your goal and it's okay to let go. It's okay to let go of something that's holding you back. You'll never know until you try. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Keep pushing, okay? I've had to tell group one this. Keep pushing, keep hustling. It ain't over. It ain't over yet. This it, we're, We are being quarantined for a reason. 
so we can be our higher and greatest selves, okay? All right, and that's how I look at it, all right? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please leave comments down below if this video or this pick a card selection resonated with you. And also subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't ever miss an upload. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye. All right, group number three. Welcome to your pick a card selection. My daughter did wake up and I am holding her. So I'm going to try to use like one hand for this. I really do apologize. She woke up during... Um, group to pick a card selection. Um, you guys do have rose quartz, so I'm going to lay the cards down and then we're going to discuss. All right, so let's see what the universe is trying to tell you. You got to sit up, baby. Get up. Okay, we've got the full card. All right, and then we've got the King of Swords. Then we've got the Queen of Pentacles. Ooh. We got the Strength card in reverse. We've got the Five of Wands of Right. We've got the King of Cups. We've got the Hermit card. We've got the Judgment card. Okay, 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 okay. We've got a message card that says everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. Okay, then. If y'all been feeling fearful, you know what they're talking about. You know what the universe is talking about, okay? Wood, of course, moon. Nothing will come of this situation. Ooh, okay. All right. We've got new moon in Virgo. It's time to give rather than to take, Okay. And we also have the new moon in Scorpio. Work through your fears. We've got the planet, planet card, Venus, okay? The part of you that desires beauty, success, indulgence, and valuables, okay? Venus rules Libra, okay? All right, and then we have the ninth house. Broadening your horizons either spiritually, academically, or on a long journey, okay? right and then we have libra wow <laughs> i didn't even know libra is in here okay this energy is diplomatic and gracious it seeks seeks harmony and balance in relationships okay and then the ninth house the ninth house is sagittarius okay so we're gonna put this here all right so this is what we're working with okay so we've got the full card here and the universe is letting you know hey you you may need to start taking a risk in your life and the fool um is about to jump off the cliff and the dog is trying to let him know hey don't be jumping off cliffs around here and stuff <laughs> but um it's probably a time a great time while we're in quarantine i keep saying this um but it's time for you to take a leap of faith. It's time for you to do something different. All right. You've got the king, not the queen. You've got the king of swords um, supporting you. And that's ruled by Capricorn and Aquarius. Okay. And, okay. Capricorn energy, baby. And, you know, that's you creating standards. So the universe wants you to create something, you know, be safe. Um, think rational, um, continue be the, to be this charming person, calm, and, you know, make balance. So create balance. So you need to create some type of um, schedule um, for you to start this new journey that you're thinking about or this new skill or project that you're thinking about. Right here, we've got the Queen of Pentacles, okay? Um, this is also Sagittarius and Capricorn energy. And we've got the Ninth House here, and that's Sagittarius energy as well. You want to put your hands up here too? <laughs> that's my daughter in the background. She's sitting here watching me. 
All right, so we've got the Queen of Pentacles here, and that's you trying to find the resources um, for this new skill or project that you're thinking about. So this new journey that you're working on, you may be doing a lot, a lot of research for it, and you may be on your computer a lot, and that's great, okay? You've got this strip guide in reverse, okay? And that's you um, showing some type of passive energy, not speaking up for yourself. So you may be starting this new journey, and people may not understand um, what you have going on, and you may be keeping certain things to yourself, <laughs> There goes my baby. She's standing um, behind there because she want to look at the candles. But, um, you know, the strength energy being in reverse, you know, someone may be trying to make you feel down because, hey, you want to start a business or you want to start a new project or you want to express yourself on social media. And they might be, you know, putting you down. It may be family, you know, or your friends. But, don't worry about it because you've got the five of wands here and you know you're gonna clarify your intentions and your plans you're gonna let these people know hey this is what i want to do this is me this is who i am and i'm going to continue doing what i want to do and continue doing what i love to do don't put that on there baby okay all right so we've got the king of cups here all right amari no, no. All right. So we've got the King of Cups here. And this is ruled by Libra and Scorpio. So we've got heavy Libra energy in here. Okay, baby? Come here. Mom life, okay? <laughs> All right. So we've got the King of Cups here. As I said, um, it's ruled by Libra and Scorpio. Okay? And that's you having emotional balance and being very compassionate. You know, you're that person that anyone can come talk to. So, um, you may eventually, after you stand up for yourself with this Five of Wands energy, people may start reaching out to you and feeling like they can vent to you. You know, you may be doing um tarot readings you know you may be healing people or you may be giving like some type of motivational speeches or anything inspiring or motivational on your social media and it may uplift other people so please continue doing that during this time all right so we have the hermit card okay this straight up virgo energy okay um you looking inward you know what i'm saying staying to yourself reflecting meditating you know doing your spiritual works okay so yeah it's definitely doing something spiritual i feel like and it's gonna make you stronger okay and then you have the judgment card okay and it's the final level of achievement so i feel like the universe is letting you know hey um this right here would you know the situation that you encountered with you nothing is going to come of that situation it's not going to be that bad it's really going to be great energy because you're going to be able to look inward you're going to be able to become stronger you're going to be able to help other people you're going to be giving back to people and you may even though you may become discouraged or scared because of this here with the strength card being in reverse you're going to work through your fears you know what i'm saying and it, you've got to be a Libra. You've got to be a Sagittarius, Capricorn, or Aquarius. You've got to be one of those. And my advice that I'm feeling from the universe is, like the message card says, everything you've ever wanted is on the other side of fear. Trust in yourself. Get it done. Like, literally, all three of the groups I had to tell you guys to get it done. And... It's all about starting new projects. You know what I'm saying? And please start your business. Please. I would love to see you guys' businesses. I would love for you guys to comment them down below so I can follow your pages and see what you got going on. Okay? <laughs> but I really want you guys to start something new. The Fool's Journey. Everybody is starting something new. And the universe is really pushing everybody to do that. Hey, this is the perfect time during quarantine to start something new. Manifest. I got my manifestation candle in the background. My law of attraction candle in the background. It is the perfect time 
starting now we've got virgo energy we got scorpio energy you may be a virgo or a scorpio and i'm telling you right now shoot for your dreams shoot for the stars make goals make that schedule we were talking about and get it done all right i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give this video a thumbs up leave comments down below please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you won't ever miss an upload and also follow me on my instagram at coco's cosmology and i'll see you guys in my next video bye